everyone, it's Liam Catterson here, and it's Ruby time once again as we get into episode number four of Volume 8. Uh, with three episodes already gone, it's been a very good start um, with this volume of Ruby, uh, especially the last episode, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, and yeah, I am nervous and excited to check out what's going to be happening in this episode, especially with the thumbnail, as it seems to indicate that we're going to be turning our attention on the hopeful recovery of Oscar. Uh, though I think I said it in episode two, even though there is that hope because the Grim didn't ascend to the point of no visibility, it's a small portion of hope. I still feel like Salem's going to have her hands on Oscar and... Um, you know, this is the perfect time for her to, this is the perfect opportunity for her to uh, have that moment happen. Um, but you never know. She could, uh, we could have the group, we could have Jean Ren and Yang be able to recover um, Oscar. But like I said, small hope on that happening. Um, but it should be very, very exciting episode. Uh, last episode was certainly that, especially with uh, a good bit of development for Nora, which is what she um, deserves. And with Nora questioning about herself and what uh, who she is when Ren isn't there. Uh, we also had Penny against the Aesops. And of course, that... Um, that friction, that, like, nervousness with the fact that... She, um, what is on the verge of of hacking her especially with the, with that last line uh in the last episode and we had bill being bill um but yeah it was a really superb episode and i'm excited and nervous to see what does happen in this episode so with that said will we be able to recover oscar am i right in having a small like not being so dependent on hope we'll find out this is episode number 4 of volume 8 of ruby Let's go. Ow, I just hit myself on the... See, you know, when you've got that, like, visual, it doesn't really give you any ease that we're going to be able to retrieve Oscar. And I think that, like I said, I think the trailers seem to indicate that, um, well, it gave me that indication that um, she would have Oscar as a prisoner. But who knows? Who knows? I always say it every week, but the intro, it's just really beautifully animated and whatnot. It's, it's really amazing. <laughs> you should have seen the look on Joanna's face. I don't think she'd ever lost a fight before that. At least, <laughs> not fair and square. It's so Robin trying to ease the tensions. Tough crowd tonight. Guess Ironwood should have paid for better cell I'm thinking of a certain political situation with and the fly. She smiles. Did I win? Hey, it's your game. I don't make the rules. I'm sorry for what happened. Just trying to help it as wasn't well. Your fault. It was though. I made a deal with the darkness, and he paid the price. It's all happening so fast. But Clover wouldn't let up. Could have worked together against Tyrion if Clover just... It's all a big mess, buddy. But the thing that really stings, for the first time in a while, I thought, maybe, maybe I could be around somebody, anybody, without my semblance making it complicated. Oh, my heart. Now, 
It just feels like a childish dream. Gone. Like everybody else. Believe it or not, I know a little of what that's like. When people are worried you're gonna sniff out their secrets, they tend to push you away. It makes a real connection... Possible. ...difficult. I... ...never thought of it that way. Oh boy. You don't get to keep that. I didn't kill him. Harry! <laughs> come on! You keep saying that. But it was your weapon covered in his blood. That doesn't really mean. If you really want to know, it what doesn't really mean Mohawk, anything, though. Why not open the cell and take my hand? <laughs> uh, if I open the cell, it won't be to shake hands. Yeah. If you want affirmation, you about the truth. instead of you jumping just want to assumption. To be mad at. <sighs> Easier than taking an honest look at what side you're on. Oh, Robin. Air, what are you doing? Nothing. Well, that was almost exciting. Mm. Very, very interesting. Oh, my heart breaks so much for Crow. And... It's going to lose us in these mountains. <sighs> oh no. Longer these bikes can stand the cold. I'm really wishing one of us could fly right now. Wait, does anyone? Hold on. I was gonna say, does anyone have any flight semblance? But nice. <laughs> I mean, you could get let go, but I don't think that's really the intent we have in mind. Oh, sh oh, Ren! Oh, no, buddy! things again why <laughs> let's go out loud no come on John let's 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 go uh oh sh look at John go oh my goodness good on John He's coming up with some great thinking here. When that was a that was a oh that was a brave call. I mean, we have to let Oscar go. We have, uh, but it was either that or lose Yang oh, and John. You've picked a fine time to not another word. <laughs> We're coming in. Things are already bad enough after what you did to father. Now you want us to harbor fugitives. He did that too? to himself, buddy. Our family has a reputation. That's what you're worried about? Your reputation? I'm just saying that we've already lost all the house staff. 
and mother locked herself in her room. Because that's the most concerning thing in going, going on, on right now. We're busy trying to save Atlas. Look, our friend is hurt. We just need a place to lay low while she rests, and then we'll be out of your way. Fine. What do you expect me to do then? Go to your room. <laughs> Twice. This way. Go, girl. Ruby, I hope everyone's doing all right. If you're worried about Yang, you could always try calling her. That's the thing. I did. I repeat, if anybody uh, can hear me. I'm not able to get it. It's, it's transport but back it, to it doesn't really help Ruby's feelings at the minute, so... We need to get out of this weather before the cold drops our ores completely. How much farther to the outpost? Ren, how much- I don't know. Ren? Oh, is he gonna be feeling guilt because- I thought you said you saw it when you were up in the air. I did, before I had to cut myself loose to help you guys. Yeah, you've brought that up a couple times now. Ren. Something you need to say? Not really. Wouldn't want to waste any more time. Uh. Hey, what is your deal? Don't worry about it. Well, I'm sorry things aren't going smoothly enough for you. Guys. They're not going smoothly at all. I hate to break it to you, but that's part of being a huntsman. Are you kidding? We don't know the first thing about being huntsmen. We clearly weren't ready. Guys, oh, stop it. Oh, Shren, okay, when okay. Hayden, when we took down a Leviathan, we got the lamp to Atlas. And then we lost it. And after that, when we had to make I don't decisions, like this. we got every single one wrong. I'm not going to pretend like we did everything perfectly. But if we'd done nothing, things would be even worse than they are now. How could they possibly be worse? We are stuck out here while Salem has the lamp and Oscar. We've got no plan, no army. We've the got Sophie, the maiden. I don't and like, by keeping it, her from it, opening it the vault for Ironwood, we're just trapping the whole city for Salem. People are going to die because of us. So what? We should just give Ironwood what he Can't wants? Put that on Abandoned your mantle? You think Alice is still going to be able to float to safety now that she's here? I don't know, but these aren't the kinds of decisions we should be making because we have no idea what we're doing. Okay, both of you, cut it out. I'm just saying what nobody else wants to. We're in way over our heads. Ruby is barely more than a kid. I'm just an orphan from the middle of nowhere. Ren, I you cheated your way into bacon. Oh, oh my goodness, Ren. You don't think we should be huntsmen? But I'm getting out of the cult. Mm. I've still got a job to do. Oh my god, that was Seriously, tense. Is your goal just to push everyone away? I feel like that relates Oscar. in a sense as well with um, Nora. Matter. But wow, You're what a scene. Okay. What? They're bringing up some... Both sides bring up some good points. My long lost Ozma. Found at last. Oh. So small, this new host of yours. It's a wonder my hound didn't break you. It's been how many years since we saw each other like this, face to face? And nothing to say? I'm sorry. Oz is just like, living up yeah, to let's not. You can pretend, boy. But you're Ooh. not fully him. Not yet, at least. Leave Oscar alone. Well, Let, can Oscar not you and I can catch a, a break, please? Relationship. Oscar, was it? The beacon relic. My forces have been unable to locate the relic beneath the school. If I know my Ozma, he has used some means of deception to hide its location differently than the others. I need to know where it is. I, it's not gonna be easy, that's though. That's not something I know about. Of course. You would keep that one guarded as long as possible. But even so, How it's not going to be easy get, getting it. There we go. You can't, like, expect it to fully... The password for the lamp. 
Oh shoot. The lamp is all out of questions. Because there's one, isn't there? So easily, <laughs> like minded souls, indeed. One of you is going to tell me what you know. I don't much care if it is you or Ozma. Either way, I'll finally have the relic. I, I won't tell you. I anything. don't like how intimidating she is. Hmm. Hazel. Oh no! That Bloody hell! Everything that follows will be for my sister. Oh my goodness! Your Grace, I. What is that? And yeah, that's what I'm asking. So far, I am. It's hell. Did you need something, Cinder? Yes, I. I want to search for the Winter Maiden. I think. Do you hear that, my pet? She thinks. She wants. As if she's done something that warrants me caring about either of those things. <laughs> We're just ooh, ooh, ooh. sitting and waiting without the maiden power. Salem is killing nothing. it. Let me claim it for you. I will tell you when and where you are needed. But your grace. <sighs> I'd like to think I have shown a great deal of patience over my many years walking remnant. But I do hate repeating myself. You will remain here. Is that clear? Oh my goodness. Yes. yes, of course. This without you, I am nothing. Sentiments are not like easy. I know what she said. I just want to check on something. We'll be back before anyone realizes. Uh oh. I want to see if anything is still going on at Abney Coliseum. Salem doesn't know those children like I do. This is the thing. They Cinder's playing a risky game. Attempt to save the world. If she doesn't want to, I'll come. For a hot second I've been there. On my semblance. <laughs> I can help. I won't tell anybody. How much did you over but, but But Salem's gonna know. That's the thing. She's gonna know. Like, even if you've been working on it. But if it means more emeralds, yeah. I did cheat my way into Beacon. And I'm glad I had people around me to help me see that I was bigger than that mistake. You've got people around you, too. You don't have to force yourself to be strong. The more you hide from what you're feeling, the more alone you're going to feel. Trust me. Back to Nora, though, like I said. Oh. If anyone trying cares, to help. I found a part to fix the bike. So, yay! Good news. For what it's worth, I'm sorry he said that to you. I know you've had to work hard to the, get here, it, John. It was the heat We're at the moment. He didn't mean right any now. ill will. But... I used to push people away, too. Just he was so defeated, and but Jean's got a good Do you point. Think she thinks less of me for not helping out with Amity. Ruby is your sister. She's always going to love you, even if you disagree with each other. Yeah. This is it. It's not like you've Ruby. done something to betray her or something. Oh, I need to get some sleep, but oh, I can't stop thinking about Oscar. Go on. I'll make sure she Ren was talking about Ruby because she's like, "Yeah, Ruby." Thanks. 
We all I know who she was anyway. talking about. Things always seem to get worse before they get better. I'm sure that's the tagline for Ruby. Things seem to get worse. <laughs> Remember seeing uh, volume one and two? Good times. Oh no. Great. Oh. Things got pretty, pretty dicey, didn't they? Like, some stuff was said, some people snapped, and yeah. And this is, uh, and you know, it's, it's really, really um, bad because it's adding to the negativity and it's all going to what John said, things are getting worse before they can get better. The negativity is not going to be helping the situation, but one can't blame Ren, for example, for feeling so defeated and having those sentiments regarding the fact that they weren't ready. And whereas he might be right on that aspect, I mean, at least the the thing is they are all doing their best to help out. Um in this dire situation. It's just really difficult because for, like, th there's a part of Ren's isolation, I guess, taken into accountability with this, with the fact that they feel like they are unintentionally aiding Salem rather than, you know, helping stopping, and <sighs> it is sad. It is sad to see, um, to see how defeated these, uh, to see how defeated everyone is, and it's really break. Ah, uh. so yeah, that was a happy episode of Ruby. <laughs> uh, it was really good though. Um, yeah, there was just a lot of uh angst going on. It was very, very um. Yeah, it got very, very emotional at times, especially Crow. Like, I just want to give him a hug. Like, at at the fact that, you know, he he is 100% putting this on him. And, well, this is... I, I think it's been uh, discussed anyways about the fact that there's, like, a plethora of... of, um... reasonings from Ironwood uh, causing the friction by having crow on the wanted list and putting that like uh, putting that i guess onus for on clover because he didn't want to do it but he had to um like there's there's a lot of different like debates we can we can talk about on what contributed to what inevitably happened to to clover and uh i i mean we've we've stated like We've stated about how it it was a mistake to, uh, for for both parties to, to like interact with Tyrion in that fight. Like, this should have been a Clover and Crow situation. Tyrion inserted himself in the in the situation, and yeah, um, and and this is it. Like, Crow is recognizing I shouldn't have have done this. I shouldn't have done that, and it is breaking my heart. And the thing that really, really tore my heart out and ripped it into shreds was him talking about how he felt like he could um, grab onto Clover as if he wouldn't have to compromise, like he wouldn't feel like he'd be a curse because of how things would balance out between the pair and, you know, that would invoke some happiness in his life, so... Uh, yeah, my heart. Like I know people, including myself, did ship Clover and Crow, but even on a platonic level, it really does sting because this has been Crow's life, and it really, really does suck. So that's that. That discussion was just really, really heartbreaking. But it was really good to see Robin try to be there, and I'm really liking the the, the dynamic between Robin. And um, Crow, it's just really, really good so far. So I am really liking what we're seeing for those two. Um, but yeah, this was a this was a really big episode for Ren as well, where you know he was 
not bottling himself up. He he was quite the opposite, actually, uh, with that outburst to Yang and Jean uh, after they had. Well, he had to let Oscar go in order to save um, Jean and and Yang. Um. Oh, this is it, though. Like both parties, both Yang and Ren, they brought up their own valid points in my eyes. For Ren, I do agree. I I do see where he's coming from when it comes to um the prematurity of of them being huntsmen, um, and you know he's even threatening about the idea about the fact that we we're not making logical decisions if anything we are we are handing salem her wishes on a silver platter we are causing agony to people what ra- rather than what we should be doing and and you know ren is feeling all sorts of guilt he like uh, and especially with the fact that he feels this onus because he had to make a choice between saving both john and, and yang and letting uh or or saving or going after um, Oscar, should I say. So he's feeling that onus heavily with that decision. And I can see his points regarding maybe it was a bit premature to appoint us as huntsmen. Um, and especially the fact that they've been thrown into the deep end with Salem's arrival. This is this really does test his, I guess, patience. Um like he, this is it. He has. I, I feel like he has been, um, pretty pretty hesitant on the idea of being a huntsman all of this time, but with tensions rising, with um, that onus on giving Salem what she wants, it's all coming out right now. And uh, yeah, I mean, I do feel so bad for it, but I like because. This is it, though. He doesn't. He doesn't have any ill will. Like when he called Jean out for "you cheated your way into Beacon," that that was just like the heat of the moment. That's him snapping. But he doesn't want. Like he doesn't want to push people away. But um, I feel that is something that I don't know. I don't want to say is like his curse or something like that. But I'm just thinking back to, um the whole Nora and Ren relationship because after they kissed last volume, things got a bit like things didn't progress. In, in fact, Nora even remarked on, on the sentiment that we've, uh, I feel like things have got, I think she, I think she said something along those lines last episode, but things have seemingly declined between us. Um, and, you know, with him snapping at Yong, uh, Yang and Jean, I've just, um, I've just I've just shipped uh Jean and Yang, so that's great. But no, with with him snapping at them too, um yeah, it's it's just adding more weight to him isolating himself. He is not only does he bottle his emotions, but he's bottling like himself up from from connecting with others, like how with how Nora is feeling, with with how he's snapping it at Yang and how he took a vicious bite towards um, Jean with that comment, with that unnecessary comment. So, and this is it. Like, I don't think of Ren as, as a dickhead or whatever, because usually he's more calm and composed, but, you know, he is now, he, he, he's just lost his patience. You know, you, you can store so it, it's, it's typical when, when, you know, you've got a lot of pressure going on in menta- uh, mentality wise, um, at some point you're going to like burst, whether it's a breakdown or if it's like Ren's outburst that he had, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to like that, that there's not going to be enough um, to be contained in the bottle anymore at like as soon as you've taken blow after blow you're gonna burst and that's what ren has done so i just i just feel so bad at the end of the day like for ren um because i do i do see his point but i also see yang's like they're doing the best they can in this terrible situation and you know Ren might be right in his comments about the fact that they might not be equipped to be they they might not be um ready to be huntsmen even though they've been granted and um, the titles 
but it doesn't help that, like I said, that they've been thrown in at the deep end. So, yeah. Um, but it was, yeah, it, I gotta say, the chase to try and retrieve Oscar was really nice. I loved the animation, and we had those creepy things from last volume return, so that was, uh, um, but it was really good. I loved, like, Ren just tr grappling on and uh, trying his best, and it was, it was just really, really good. It was very, very cool seeing, like, those sequences play out. Um... Yeah, like I said, it just feels, I just feel so bad for, like, for Ren, but, yeah, um, I, I also liked that comment as well, like, when they, when, uh, Jean was reflecting on, well, in his mind, he was, he was re reflecting on the split between Ruby and, um, and Yang, uh, regarding, uh, what is right, and Yang was more worried about Blake, so yeah i just i just re i just loved that because i was thinking okay yeah it's a it's a it's a normal discussion isn't it re regarding about ruby and yang like ruby was uh echoing her sentiments last episode and now it's yang's turn but then she said yeah ruby <laughs> and i'm like buzz buzz people buzz buzz um yeah I, I I do hope things like when they do get reunited, I do hope we see things do blossom further with with Blake and Yang, but Oh oh that was great. Um but yeah, Ren I do like like I said, I do feel bad. Like he is upset that he had to make that choice and he, he doesn't feel like um he doesn't feel like he should be a huntsman now. Like nobody should be a huntsman. They got their titles really pr prematurely, and you know, with that feeling of mucking up constantly and failing to protect the people, it's you know you can't blame him. Like you, you want to, you want to cherish this title, and he feels like he's just slapping uh, the huntsman of the past in uh, in the face because he feels like he keeps mucking up. They never get anything right, and. He, uh they keep failing the people that so yeah i do feel so bad um but they are trying the best they can do and and you know things could be worse but i with this aura of negativity just clouding his mind it's yeah um i gotta say salem is oh I love how intimidating she is, but I also don't at the same time because she is so passive. And, you know, then she does um, her magic on, on Oscar, which was very, very cool. Like, I just love the rainbow effects, but, you know. Um, no, I just really love how calm she was. And I don't know. That's really scary itself because when she does have a bit more angst in her voice like when she when she um told cinder to know your your place that's even scarier like it like we've seen her uh bellow out her like like a vicious um cry uh in volume five like she that was very very scary at the end when uh i guess team ruby saw her for the first time um yeah we've seen that like cry that she uh has echoed and uh that is very, very scary itself. But I just got to say, I loved the, like, the calmness that she presented to Oscar before. Like, Oscar wasn't, you know, well, tried to lie um, to Salem by saying it's out of wishes. So, but this is it. It was never going to be easy to get the answers out of Oscar. So, but she doesn't care. As Oz, Oscar, as she said, she will have, uh, she will have the relics. So... Oh, and then Hazel comes in, so... Oh, I mean, this is it, though. I think I, 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 think I said this in um, Volume 5. But, yeah, I mean, he is... He is... Um, he is uh, targeting his punches and whatnot to Oz. But it's still the physical body of Oscar, so it's like... Yeah, um... But you just got to think, though, well, like, um, you know, you have Ospin thinking everything's going to be OK. And then Hazel comes in and he's like, oh, no. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I kind of forgot about that. So, <laughs> um, 
but yeah, uh, I re- like I said, I really loved um, Cinder raise like not just ra- raising uh, Cinder uh, Salem, not just raising her voice slightly to Cinder, but um, condescending her as well, saying uh, to that uh, Grim, "Oh, she thinks," um, and I'm, I mean, I say I'm worried for Cinder because Salem's gonna know she's gone to Amity. Like, Emerald has st- said, okay, well, my semblance, you know, it, it should be able, I've been working on it, so it should be good. But whatever the case, with with uh, Cinder defying orders, you know, she thinks, oh, Salem's not going to know. She is. Salem's going to know. I don't think it's going to be as uh, that simple as pulling the wool over her eyes. Like... Yeah, she's going to know, and the consequences is going to be very, very interesting, especially since we see, we've see we seen strands of her backstory in episode one. So I'm thinking when she returns and faces her inevitable punishment, that's going to tie into her backstory, because I am very, very intrigued with that aspect. But yeah, um, it's going to be very interesting to see what does happen. But yeah, it was a really, really good episode. I really loved the growth of John in John as well. Like John, um, you know, he took that very, not just was he impressive in the chase, uh, uh, to Oscar, but you know, he had that mature maturity and, you know, he recognizes, um, he recognizes, I guess, some of his wrongs, and even Yang said it. You've you've grown ever since then. It's not like you've been a complete dud. You, you've 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 been hard at work, and Jean really took that. And I think Jean realizes that that was the heat of the moment, and he does recognize that. You know, he might feel like he he got lucky with getting into Beacon, but. You know, um, he he is trying to work hard. He is trying his best, and he does recognize that. I feel like he does recognize that Ren doesn't have any ill will towards Jean. Um, and this is more the heat of the moment, but it's just something that you don't want to be reminded of, is it? So, uh, you want to see your growth. You don't want to see your bad your bad times, do you? So, yeah, um. But yeah, this was a great episode. Oscar needs like he needs he needs help. Like he's been through the ringer so much. The the boy needs I don't know, he needs therapy at this point with the amount of shit that he's had. So oy. But yeah, this was a great episode. A lot of tensions just thrown out there and it was oh, it was really good. Some of the animations like um Salem with her blast to Oscar pretty um the chase um to try and retrieve Oscar was really really well done as well it was really really a great episode and I really loved how things went by so yeah I will see you guys next time hope you guys enjoyed this reaction you can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to hope you guys enjoyed this reaction take care and I will see you guys next time toodles